if you're taking the open educational resource or learning course uh, at Thompson Rivers University, you're going to want to read the example problems in the course textbook. Parse those questions, essentially do what we've been doing. Find that question word, do all the rest of it. See if you come up with a plan that works to solve the problem. Compare it to the plan that they're showing you. If it's not the same, it's okay, as long as you're getting to the same place at the end. If they're getting to the same place at the end, connect those. So, once you've got the plan, solve your problem and compare it to their answer. If somehow you struggled, your answer didn't match what uh, they have, then essentially try their plan. See where things differed. Now, once you've got that example problem done, do your check your learning problem right after it, because essentially it's saying, take the exact same plan that you just made and apply it to this problem. So now it's just about parsing the problem, getting the data from the right place and doing the same thing. Great way to practice. And then there's going to be end of chapter problems. There's going to be a bare minimum of you to practice to get ready for your evaluations. Other problems would probably be labeled as for challenge or for interest. And these are for those people who are really getting into the chemistry and want to test your skills, but it's probably uh, a little too high level and wouldn't be expected on an assignment or other evaluation. And you got to practice. Practice, practice, practice. You're not going to be an Olympic level swimmer. You're not going to be a guitar virtuoso. You're not going to be a world class chef. You're not going to be any of those things by watching someone else do them. You have to do those things. You have to get in the pool. You have to grab the guitar. You have to grab the knife. You don't learn to solve chemistry problems by watching other people do them. You don't solve chemistry problems by just reading how to do that. You have to be able to parse the questions. You have to be able to pick out the bits of information and you want to be able to do it consistently. And the best part is once you've got the practice, you will also have the intuition to tell you, wait a second, something's gone wrong. I'm Peter the Chemist. Thank you for listening. Good luck.